Okay, B1, number eight, directions again, perform the indicated operation. So I gotta figure out which operation is going on in this case. We're at it. Okay, we're adding two fractions. So the first thing you need to think of when you're adding two fractions is that you need a common denominator. Okay? When I add fractions, I need a common denominator. I need to rewrite both of my fractions if necessary over the common denominator and add the two numerators together. Okay? So how we find the common denominator, in this case the denominators are five and four. So I need a number, the, the smallest number, that 5 and 4 will both divide into evenly, okay? So in this case, it's going to be 20. 20 is the smallest number that 5 and 4 go into evenly. If you have trouble finding the common denominator, what I like to do is start with the larger of the two denominators and list all its multiples. That is 5, 10, 15, 20. And I stop when 4 goes into one of those, right? So 4 won't go into that, that, or that, but 4 will divide into that. Okay, another thing you can do is list all the factors of 4 if you want. And, and continue that list until you find one that's common among the two. Okay, if you have trouble finding that common denominator, do something like that. Okay, it might help you find that least common denominator. The first one you come to that both 5 and 4 will go into either. Okay? Alright. So once we've established the common denominator, the common denominator is 20, what I want to do is write both my fractions over my common denominator. Okay, this is how I do these. I like to write it over the common denominator and just leave a blank space there. Also include the signs of this one. We're lucky, everything's positive, makes it a little bit easier. Don't have to worry about my negative signs, right? So I have the least common denominator here and here. Now, how do I get the new numerators? Okay, in order to get the numerator, I have to decide what I did to get from 5 to 20. Is what did I multiply 5 by to get the least common denominator? I multiply it by 4. So I have to do the same to the numerator, so I don't change the fraction. Alright, 4 times 4 is 16. This, it, it looks different than 4 fifths, but it's the same thing. It's the same number. Okay, it's just in an unreduced form. Okay, we do that in order to add it together. Um, and you can see that because what I'm really doing here is multiplying by 1. 4 over 4 is 1. Okay? Now, same process to get the 3 fourths of the fraction over 20. What I'm going to do is decide, well, what did I multiply 4 by to get 20? Well, multiply it by 5. Got to do the same to the numerator. 3 times 5 15. Okay? Now, once I've got my least common denominator of 20, what I'm going to do is add two numerators and leave it over that least common denominator. So the 20 stays, 16 and 15, 31. Check that to see if it simplifies anything going to 31 and 20. Nothing will go into those evenly, so I'm done. Okay? So keep working. Do the rest of your homework. Remember, you can't pass this course unless you finish your homework.